Hello, I'm John Shepherd, and in this short video I'm going to take you through a plyometric session that renowned Brazilian coach Nelio Moura took whilst over in England recently at Loughborough University. This was one of a number of practical and theoretical sessions that Nelio took over the specific weekend. All being well, I'll upload some of the other presentations from Nelio onto the channel over the next few weeks. Nelio's sessions always begin with an active warm-up. He explained that normally his athletes would jog two laps whilst performing some of the exercises that you're seeing on screen now. Such an active warm-up is designed to prepare the athletes for the more dynamic work that will follow. It was good to see within the participating athletes some of Britain's top performers including World Championship representative Ben Williams and also 8m21 long jumper Dan Bramble. You'll see that the various exercises selected both stretch, mobilise and actively activate the various muscles as I've said that will be used for the subsequent plyometric exercises that follow. Nelio has done a lot of research into plyometric training and he has an array of exercises that he utilises with his athletes across the training year. And so the main part of the session showcased many of the plyometric exercises that he uses. You'll see these exercises on screen at the moment being performed in bare feet and back in Brazil or with his other athletes around the world he'll often do these on grass as part of the warm-up but also as an introductory way to plyometrics. Next up it was on to some more intense forms of plyometrics. You'll see that throughout the session the exercises got more and more intense. Nelio explained that he has a progression that he follows across the training year starting with less intense variants moving towards more intense variants. He did of course note that with more experienced athletes there will be more of a mixture and an, potentially an earlier introduction of the more intense forms. Hopping for example is more intense than bounding and various heights of drop jumps as you'll see later are also more intense. So as a coach you need to balance the introduction of these exercises throughout the training year and make them relevant to the athlete. Interestingly here the emphasis on these straight leg box jumps was on the contact between the boxes so the contact on top of each box was of lesser importance to the one in between and if you look closely you'll see that Ben for example is placing more emphasis on the leaps, the jumps from the floor rather than the box. As a comparison when I do these similar types of jumps all the contacts are active i.e. from the box tops as well as from the floor. It's important to create the stiffness that will create the stretch reflex through the feet, the knee and the hip. After double footed variants it was on to hops and these are of course harder to do than the double footed ones. The direction of the plyometric activity can of course emphasise more of a forward movement as these exercises show here. You can of course run into and off of the box top to perform a number of contacts as I do with my group as well but that's very intense. Adding my own commentary here it's important to realise that the muscles at the ankle, knee and hip all develop their own stiffness so it's important to make sure that the exercises that you select work across these three joints. Nalio uses these drop and block jumps as they call them as an introduction to more intense plyometrics as well as an exercise in their own right. So here's a progression where the athletes land from the box and then leap over a hurdle. And here's another progression utilising low hurdles where the emphasis is on the straight leg contacts 
This was something that was stressed throughout the presentation in order to develop greater power in the stretch reflex. And here again are further variations utilising higher hurdles and, as you'll see later, hops and skips through the hurdles. As you can see, these exercises are at the more intense end of the plyometric intensity continuum. This one in particular requires great skill as well as power in order to clear the hurdles. So it's a step between the hurdles with a takeoff. At the end of the session, Nellio talked about achieving the optimum loads to lift for athletes in the weights room. He demonstrated an app he uses, VMAX Pro, which uses an accelerometer which attaches to the barbell. Using various loads and the app enables him to determine which is the optimum load to develop at maximum force and power. Both Dan and Ben experimented with various loads on the barbell and the jump squat in order that their maximum optimum weight be established. Once this is found and determined, then it'll be much more precise when it comes to setting loads on the barbells for various weight training exercises and optimizing performance in consequence. When you watch this video, do remember that what you're seeing is in isolation and are examples of the types of exercises that Nelio utilizes with his athletes. There's a lot more to it than just these exercises, i.e. factoring them in to the training program and utilizing specific ones with specific athletes. He's also got a number of exercises that are specifically designed to improve takeoff and in many ways these are also plyometric. So these also need to be taken into account and factored in to that training program. You'll see more of the takeoff drills for both long jump and triple jump in another video. As usual, thanks for watching and good luck with your training and competition and do subscribe to the channel and leave any comments you may have in the section below or through my other social media. Do check out Nelio's social media and should you want a copy of his book, do contact him directly. Please note though that about 80% of the book is in Portuguese but there are English subchapter headings and text boxes which do make things easier to understand. Set, go! I've had the free lap timing system for a number of months now and I've been putting it to the test. If you'd like to find out more about it and potentially purchase a system, then do contact me directly. But here's some information. The system is extremely portable and accurate to two one thousandths of a second. You no longer need to take up three lanes to time your athlete. Place the TX Junior Pro transmitters down on trackside. Set up the app on your iPhone or phone or tablet and you're ready to go. The FX chip BLE attaches to the waist of the athlete and that's what sends the time to the receivers. It's simple and effective. It's been a great motivator and way to compare performances across the training year, not only between our athletes but with norms established by other jumpers for example. We can now really see how fast we are. Also, do check out the merch shelf at the bottom of this YouTube video where you'll see some of the Jump Squad merchandise that I've had designed. Any sales will benefit the channel and help me grow it and develop more content that will hopefully educate you guys to become better athletes.